Oh, see, self-represented litigants. Yes. <laughs> the self-represented. Yeah. A grapple with understanding the process, <laughs> what to expect and what is expected of them. <laughs> they describe the feeling lost or in the dark, <laughs> relating both to the individual steps and the big picture of the case. Now, since I only got the summons while being arrested, I kind of was one of those litigants that was in the dark. Yes. <laughs> Intimidated, isolated, and vulnerable. Yes. That didn't understand the individual steps and did not see the big picture. Poop! <laughs> now, let's say, given the personal <laughs> importance of their cases, yes. <laughs> litigants actively work to identify and utilize resources to help them understand the law and the court process. <laughs> Our resources leverage do not always address topics clearly <laughs> or effectively enough to eliminate the need for specific guidance. <laughs> the internet, I do a little internet research to the help of this of the court staff. Yes, <laughs> the litigants sometimes avail themselves to attorney consultations for assistance. <laughs> now, I had mentioned that when I didn't get notices of court hearings, yes, <laughs> let's say you scheduled a two count criminal complaint in Jefferson County. <laughs> I don't have an address. I'm homeless. That's right. I email the Port Angeles Police Department right now. <clears throat> and they decide, sure, we know who Paul is. He was on trial numerous times in the previous year. <clears throat> But since it's not in our jurisdiction, we are not compelled to give him notice of court hearings. Yes. Now, the thought was, without the actual notice of court hearings, yes, I could not just go to an attorney and say, I need some sort of representation when appearing in court. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, let's say, right, you want me to appear in court and I ask for notice of court hearings. Yes. <laughs> you say, no, <laughs> we're not going to give that to you. <laughs> I say that there is nothing that I can take right to an actual attorney firm <laughs> proving that I'm scheduled on the docket to have a court hearing. <laughs> now, when you don't protect my right to get notices, <laughs> you didn't protect my right right now. <laughs> now, for every attorney that thought about themselves as being the pro bones, <laughs> the truth of the matter is when litigants <laughs> do not have the availability of attorney consultations because they do not have any documentation. See, let's say I was going through a dissolution. Yeah, let's say. And I didn't get any of the information. I didn't get child support worksheets. No, he didn't. <laughs> I didn't get parenting plans. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get anything. <laughs> now, what do I take to an attorney to explain exactly what it looks like?